Let's talk about keeping natural beard lines versus cleaning them up. Now, some of you are not going to like hearing this, but there is not a right or wrong, one size fits all answer with this. There are definitely many factors that are in play and ultimately comes down to your personal preference. However, I think there is some perspective that you should hear and consider to be able to make the right decision for yourself, such as your beard color, your natural growth pattern, and the style of beard that you're going to be going for. And let's establish clearly what we are talking about. These are the areas where guys really kind of waver back and forth if they should clean it up with a razor or a trimmer, and those areas would be the cheek line, and then commonly the side profile of the beard, specifically underneath the ear if that growth pattern is going back. So the first thing is your growth pattern. Some of you do not have to worry about this because you do not have a growth pattern that makes you pick. If your cheek line is low or at a good natural point, you're good, leave it alone. Same with that side profile, but there are many bearded men out there where that line grows up to their eyeballs, where that line on the side goes completely behind their ear and connects back to their head hair. And those are where those decisions need to, to be made, especially when it's the spectrum somewhere in between those. Now for me, one of the biggest factors is the color of the beard hairs. Now this is why that matters. If you have a lighter colored beard hair, especially in those sections, my hair gets lighter towards the top of my beard and the sides of my beard. Freakishly lucky on that, but it's just, it is what it is. If you have lighter colored hairs, you can get away with it. If you grow it out more and you don't touch it, it's not as noticeable. If you clean it up and it's growing back, it's not as noticeable. So on both sides of that deal, you're lucky if you have those lighter color hairs. Now, if you have those really dark hairs, usually it's that black or dark brown hair, now is when you really got to consider the pros and cons of leaving it as compared to cleaning it up. If you leave it, let's say you have that really high cheek line, it's pretty noticeable because of those dark hairs, same on the side. Now, if you clean it up, usually it looks good for a day or two. Now my big problem, a huge pet peeve of mine is someone that has dark hair and they're gonna clean it up. Let's say it's with a razor, let's say it's with a trimmer like a Brio or a Wall or Andes, Andes, whatever, I, I've never tried that one. I know I just butchered the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But let's say they clean it up. Once a couple of days or a week passes and you have a longer portion of your beard and then that cleaned up area starts to grow back in and it's that dark short stubble that looks drastically different than the rest of the beard, oh my goodness, I, I love all beard styles, rock what you got. That one bugs me because you chose that decision. You made that choice to clean it up and you also decided not to maintain it and keep going. If you decide you're gonna clean up your cheek line, if you decide you're gonna clean up any natural lines on your beard, please maintain it. Be consistent with it, otherwise that regrowth process just does not look good. Unless you tried it and you're like, eh, it's not for me, I have to regrow it, I gotta go through that little bit of an awkward phase, that's understandable, just make sure you're not touching it again. But the dark haired beards out there, it's a much harder decision. Now, again, the growth pattern matters too. If you're, if it's going up to your eyeballs and connecting, my advice would be to clean it up. Even if you have to maintain it on a daily basis, I think that's gonna look better than having that really exaggerated line. Same with on the side. If it's, I've had seen guys where it swoops completely around their ear and it's like a huge cup underneath there, again, all beards are great, rock what you want, personal preference, but I do like to clean it up at that point, especially if you have a shorter beard. The shorter your beard, the more maintenance I believe, personally, that is required. If you're rocking that business beard, let's look for those cleaned up lines, let's look for that maintenance. If you're growing it out bigger, I think you get a little bit of leeway, a little bit of leverage to grow those areas out. I don't think it's as noticeable, okay? That's just some food for thought on some key things of perspective when it comes to those lines. Let me gather my thoughts for two seconds, come back to you guys for a conclusion. Let's wrap it up here. And after collecting my thoughts, I think I did a pretty good job. Sometimes I have to like, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about this because I don't have a script. There's no teleprompter. There's no notes, nothing like that. I'm talking directly to you guys. I have some key points in my mind, of course, and then I'm kind of just going with my experience and my knowledge and my personal preferences. This one, I think I covered it. So I'm going to kick it to you guys for some help down in the comments. 
Do you have any questions first off? Is there something I said that didn't make sense? Is there something that I did not cover? Please let me know. I will do my best to get back to you. I've been pretty dang good lately over the last couple of months. Once school is back in session, camping has kind of died down. I've got a pretty good consistent routine. So actually I will mark that. I'm not gonna try my best. I will get back to you if you have questions. And then secondly, let me know what your thoughts. What is your personal situation? What is your preference? Do you clean those lines? Why do you? Do you stay up with it? Do you leave them natural? Break it down, your experience, your thoughts with the topic of this video. Hopefully this helped somebody, even if it wasn't a big change, maybe it got you thinking and brought in some food for thought, as I said. Thank you guys for watching today. Oh, and I don't know if I introduced myself or anything. My name is Dan C. Bearded. If you made it to the end of this video, I hope you had a like and show that you enjoyed and valued this content. And if you're new and you made it to the end of this video, my goodness, you should probably subscribe because if you made it here, you're going to enjoy the content on this channel. I promise you. And I will show that appreciation right back at you. Thank you guys. Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.